Hello everyone. Today we'll start a new chapter that is continuity. This chapter is a continuation of the chapter limits. So the word continuity. This word as it is very clear is being coined from the word continuous. Right? Now, what do you mean by a process being continuous? When I say that a process is continuous it means that the process goes on without interruption and without abrupt changes for example if you have a pipe this is a water pipe which supplies water now if you have flow of water from this pipe from let's say 7 am to 8 am from 9 am to 10 am there is no flow of water and again from 10 to 12 you have flow of water then this process is a discontinuous process whereas if you have flow of water continuously flowing out from 7 to 12 then it's a continuous process in mathematics we follow a similar analogy now if you say that y is equal to f of x is a continuous function that means what when you draw the graph of the function y is equal to fx there is no interruption or there is no breakpoints so this function is a continuous function whereas if you draw another function y is equal to g of x like this then here you can see that there is an inter interruption at this point there is a break point at this point so this function is a discontinuous function now if you want to put this in simple terms a function can be said to be a continuous function if you can draw the graph of the function without raising your pencil for example this function I can draw the graph of the function at one stretch whereas this function I draw till here I put up my pen and again I start drawing my pen so there is an interruption I have to raise my pen so this is a discontinuous function okay so as you have seen that this function is not continuous at this point since there is a break point at this point so when we talk of continuity we check for the function being continuous at a particular point or a function being continuous at a particular interval. So when we talk of continuity, this can be broadly divided into two parts. One is continuity at a point or continuity on an interval. Okay. Now, let's first discuss this part, continuity at a point. Let's forget about this part. Okay. Now, when you say that a function is continuous at a point A, then that means what? That at the point x equals to A, the function has no gaps or holes this is very obvious because as we had discussed that if a function has a gap at a particular point then obviously it is discontinuous so for a function to be continuous at a particular point x equals to a there shouldn't be any gaps or holes for this function at this point now let's put this mathematically like how do we prove mathematically that a function is continuous at a point or not Let's say I have two graphs. Okay. Okay. So, as you can see, as you can 
clearly visualized from the graph that this function is a continuous function because it doesn't have a gap or hole at this point x equals to a whereas this function has a gap or a hole at this point so it's a discontinuous function which is discontinuous at point a and this is continuous at point a now i have to put this mathematically how do i prove this mathematically mathematically you can see that in this case at a what happens the left hand limit as you approach a from the left hand side is equal to the right hand limit as you approach a from the right hand side is also equal to the functional value at a okay and what is this limit left hand limit is equal to right hand limit that means what that limit exists at a so this is the con condition which proves that a function is continuous at a particular point a at for this function as you can see that though the limit exists is particular value l but the functional value at a is something different let's say it's l2 so though the limit exists it's not equal to the functional value at a so we can say that the function is not continuous at point x equals to a